today we're gonna try a nice little weeded bourbon from Austin, Texas. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Guys, I truly appreciate everyone's support, love. Thank you everyone that has subscribed, liked, commented on the videos, good and bad, you know, it is what it is. You can't take the good without the bad. Um, and you know that you guys are uh, showing so much love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are, are amazing. And if you have not yet done so, please do me one favor. That is all I ask. Please subscribe, you know, that uh, really helps me out, helps out the channel and lets me know that uh, this content is actually uh, benefiting you guys. Now, if you're feeling generous, you can also like, comment on the video, you know, and also click that bell icon. Now, today I'm trying to do a quick video, get straight to the point because I wanna do a few things. Uh, well, actually, not a few things. I wanna review this one bourbon and kind of pair it up with another one and see how they do. So that bourbon is Nine Banded Weeded Bourbon. just recently got this right I got this maybe like a month ago month and a half ago and I've been staring at it at, on my bar for the last month and a half and I always keep saying to myself damn I gotta open that so decided to do it but I wanted to do it on a video to you know uh, let you guys know I did already open it had a little sip on it yesterday let it air out a little bit but you know it was like the first neck pour and it was a little bit so I'm really gonna taste it good today and if you don't know nine banded it's a craft distillery from austin texas actually that's what kind of intrigued me to the bottle not just that it's kind of different because it's black with the white lettering but also it had this little cool armadillo on it they got me with the armadillo and i was like huh what is that and then i seen austin texas i like still austin if you guys have not had that go and taste that it's pretty good um, and I'm waiting for their cast strength to be able to get that. And it just so happened that I seen this and that it was from Austin, Texas, and it's a weeded bourbon. So I was like, okay, let me take a chance on it. Cost me 35 bucks and i um, just definitely want to get into it. Now it is 90 proof. So it's a little low on the proof side, but hey, it is what it is. Let's taste it. Nine Bandit, you can go on their website, um, look them up. It's actually, you know, it's a pretty cool story. It's four friends that were sitting um, just chilling at a table and they were like, you know what, we should make some bourbon whiskey. They decided to make something that instills the uh, Austin culture. So that is why they're using limestone um, wa uh, filtered water. And that is from the Texas Hill Country. Hill Country, Country, I don't know. Maybe I was trying to say County, but the Texas Hill Country. So yeah, I'm excited to see what it's gonna do to this and how it's gonna taste. So let's get into it. I already opened it, so it's just a pop. Boom. All right, so got my little Glen Kern here. I hate when it spills. Am I the only one? Like, I just wanna, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I always try to keep like a little, uh, like a little, um, 
napkin or something around because I hate when it spills out. On the Glencairn, it's okay, but I hate when it spills on the actual bottle. Being here in Florida, we have a lot of fruit flies, especially if you have a lot of fruit in your house. So yeah, I, I have not seen any fruit flies around my bar, but I do not want them to gravitate there like they do to the fruit. Either way, let's go in for a nice little smell. It does smell pretty good, you know? And if you look on their website, it does say, I'm looking at it right here, 45% wheat, 51% corn, and 4% malted barley. So definitely heavy, heavy on the wheat. And they actually do have some tasting notes. So let's see if we can actually get that. Um, it does say that it's a very pleasant mouthfeel and it's a confectionery palette. Yes, confectionery. Um, with notes of dehydrated stone fruit and fresh wood with a sweet, long finish. So, you know, with that description, I'm actually excited. It's not really tasting notes, but I'm actually excited to get into it. So let's smell it. Definitely smell wood in there, that, that's for sure. Not, not like sawdust, like a, like a young bourbon, but you definitely take, uh, smell the wood. Honey, caramel. The fruit that I'm getting is cherry, kind of like uh, a larceny. And vanilla. I mean, that's what I'm getting on the nose. Let's go in for a taste. Cheers. That's a pretty good um, taste, quite honestly. Um, I could definitely see this as a easy daily sipper, um, especially if you like wheat or bourbon. You taste the wheat, it, it tastes like kind of like, like wheat bread, like Cheesecake Factory, that like uh, wheated bread or that oat bread that they have, the little brown bread. Um, that's what it tastes like. Um, honey, vanilla, caramels, obviously all that all those bourbon notes but i am picking up cherry right just like in the smell it tastes a little bit like and i'm saying larceny because you know i just recorded a video um the other day about larceny um so that's what i'm kind of picking up so i guess that's where they're getting the stone fruit um i don't pick up the wood that much on the taste let me go in for another taste cheers pretty good guys I mean for 35 bucks I'm actually happy now I did see as I was looking up their website that there's a cast strength coming out or it's already out although I have not seen it in my area but I am excited to actually get that because this has a really really good taste kind of tastes like a larceny Weller's type of taste obviously all wheat and bourbons um, but yeah, it's, um, uh, it's, um, it's pretty good. And if you see here, the back of the bottle, they give you a little more information. Straight bourbon crafted from a neat blend of wheat, corn, and malted barley brought to life with limestone filtered water from the Texas Hill Country, as I said at the beginning. And it's distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Huh. <laughs> and it's aged at least two years. Uh, the nine-banded armadillo is the state mammal of Texas and the symbol of the independent and creative spirit of our home, Austin. So that's why they're very proud that it's made or actually blended in Austin, Texas. Although Lawrenceburg, Indiana, obviously that's where they're getting their uh, bourbon from. So, I mean, I would have to say it's a thumbs up, right? It tastes really good. Now, let's see how this compares. I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more and we're gonna see how it compares actually to, you know what? I was gonna say Weller Special Reserve, uh, but no, let's actually say Weller Special Reserve. Now, Weller Special Reserve, if you're able to actually get it in your area at cost, it's only 25 bucks, right? 
Um, now, I know, I know, I know. A lot of times, the Wellers are hard to find. I, until recently, until a few months ago, I have not been able to find this. Now, I stocked up for sure. But my Wellers 107, I cannot find here. Um, any other Wellers, I cannot find. So, yeah. So, this is the Wellers. Let's go in for a taste. Well, for a smell and then a taste. So the Weller's is a little bit more sweet, I will say. And there's the special reserve, right? So the Weller's is a little bit sweeter and boom. Um, then this, they're both 90 proof. So we got that. Let me see. Yeah, it's 90 proof, right? So it's a good comparison. It's just the price that's a little off, right? Just tasted this one. Let's go for the well. The only thing is that the Wellers leaves you with a better mouthfeel. Like it definitely coats your mouth a little bit better, but it's actually really comparable, quite honestly. Now, yes, you might not get nine banded everywhere in your area. You, I don't know what the distribution is. I don't know what the pricing is everywhere, but if you see it on the shelf and you like weeded bourbons, it's definitely a thumbs up from me, right? Um, if you're trying to compare it to a Weller's, it's comparable, but that would be to the Special Reserve. I'm not gonna compare it to the 107 um, or anything else from Weller's, but it's comparable to the Special Reserve. So if you're not able to find Special Reserve, but you find Nine Banded, it's a good weeded bourbon to, you know, kind of substitute Weller's with. So that is my take on Nine Banded, Weeded Bourbon. Everyone, thank you again for watching, for all the love, for all the support. If you have not done yet, please subscribe. That is all I ask. And well, till next time, guys, enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.